I'll be using a total of seven one gallon paint stir sticks. You could find these at Home Depot. And for the first four of them, I'm using this wood glue that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just gluing two of them together so I have a thicker stick. And while these are gluing, you could just use a clamp or a clothespin and allow those to completely dry. So now I got this picture frame from Dollar Tree and I'm only going to be using the galvanized part of that picture frame. So I had a leftover cut up piece of a Dollar Tree sign. So I am placing the galvanized metal plus two other paint stir sticks right on top of it. I'm just measuring it out. So I know the length for all three of those pieces and I just marked it off with a Sharpie. So this is really easy. Just use a box cutter to just keep going over where your tracing is and eventually that piece will just pop right off and just cut off any excess that you may have as well. You could use a pair of scissors or you could also use your box cutter. Now I'm just measuring the width of the galvanized sign and then just doing the same method using my box cutter until again eventually that sign will just come apart. And then just use a sanding block to sand those edges smooth. And now you have a perfect fit for that galvanized sign. Now I'm using this adhesive glue that I got from Dollar Tree. It's a great substitute for E6000. I am placing those popsicle sticks on the side of the galvanized sign so I know where that sign needs to go. But I did not glue down those paint stir sticks yet. And again, you wanna just clamp that down and allow it to completely dry. And then I had another extra piece from that Dollar Tree cut up sign and I Google image this laundry company image and I just printed it out off of my computer and I'm just using some Mod Podge to adhere this paper onto that sign. So just a nice even coat. Make sure you get all the corners. Just smooth that paper right on top. Make sure there's no air bubbles and then to seal and protect it in place, you want to just go over it with another coat of Mod Podge and allow it to completely dry. So now with three more paint stir sticks, I just need to measure out the width of this decor. So I'm placing everything together. Again, I'm not gluing anything yet. This is just to give me an idea of where I need to cut down those paint stir sticks. So I just marked it off with a Sharpie. And again, I'm using my box cutter and I'm just going over the paint stick enough until it is thin enough to where I can just pull it apart. So now that everything is ready, now we could start assembling this all together. So I just eyeballed this part. Um, I just eyeballed where the laundry company sign needs to go along with the galvanized part. And once I have everything to where it should be, I'm just using that adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue and I just start gluing all of the popsicle sticks together. So now you should have something that almost looks kind of like a little ladder. And I wanted to give this a nice paint job, so I'm using this acrylic paint in the color Burnt Umber. You can find this at Walmart. And I just started applying this all throughout the paint stir sticks. This only required one coat, and you just want to allow it all to completely dry before moving on. Once dry, I'll be doing a dry brush method using this Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. So you just need a very small amount of this chalk paint on your paintbrush. Dab off any excess that you may have and then just start applying the chalk paint all throughout the paint sticks with some light brush strokes. And now you have this gorgeous weathered look. So now using that adhesive glue, I'm placing that on the sides of that galvanized sign. 
And then just placing the paint stir sticks right on top. Just hold it down until it is completely adhered. And I just did the same thing to that Laundry Co sign as well. And there you go, guys. Now you just created this adorable DIY laundry washboard decor. This was super inexpensive to make. It was so easy. I hope this inspires you to create your own. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.